and I'd like to welcome you to the student takeover. Uh, basically, we're just going to give you a bit of a glimpse into stuff we've been doing as other activities aside from just classwork and things like that, and the stuff you can join and how you guys can get involved. So uh, my name is Anna, and I'm a first year in the creative media production program for my bachelor's. And I'm also in the student council working as the media communications officer. So. Hi, everyone. I'm Selena. I will be with Anna moderating today's takeover. I also will say first a little bit about me. I'm studying my first year uh, of master's degree in fine art. And I'm a social media ambassador for Pratt College. So yeah, like if you ever want to share something through our social media channels, feel free to contact me or Sky. I will talk about her just in a little bit. Uh, we want to start by introducing everyone so you get to know us. And if you have any questions by the end, you know who to reach out. Um, so yeah, so I will start with Melvin. If you guys can like give a handshake or something so that I recognize you. So Melvin here, he's the founder and creative director of Agora Magazine. He's studying the BA in graphic design. Then we have v Mirna. She, Mirna is editor-in-chief from Bosnia. She studies BSc computing. Then we have Stania, social media manager from, she's from the Czech Republic. She's studying her BA in graphic design. Then we have Senia, she's second year of fine art experimental media program. Uh, she's the lead of Art Society and she's a student council member. <laughs> then we have Art. She's the, he is the president and head of Gaming Society, second year bachelor student in IT. <laughs> then we have Sky. Uh, she's Music Society leader. She's also a social media ambassador with me and she's studying MA Future Design. And yeah, we also... Yeah, that's, I, I think that's, I say, all of us. So yeah, so just, we are just a bunch of students participating on school activities and anything you need guys, uh, any questions or, you know, we will be now like uh, talking about all the different things we do, but just don't, don't doubt to reach out or just pop your question on, on the chat. So anyway, we'll like, I think guys, let's just start everyone to just say a little bit what you are working, working on. We'll start with the student council insight presentation. All right, I believe that is my cue. Exactly. <laughs> uh, with that, allow me to take the floor. Again, hello, Art, uh, School of Media and IT, specifically IT second year. Student Council President and Head of Gaming Society. Hi, it's me. Not she, by the way, he. Thank you very much, Selena. Uh, yeah, so Student Council. We are uh, essentially students who are doing extracurricular, extracurricular activities uh, for the school, such as organizing events and, and various social media things and things of, the, of that sort. For example, uh, during the last semester, we helped organize the welcoming party as well as the Halloween party. We have kicked off a Discord server over the ground, just to name a few things. And uh, yeah, in addition to that, we also technically oversee the societies, although to be honest, I'm just content to let societies do their thing. And uh, we have, of course, uh, myself from Gaming Society. We have Genia from the Art Society and Sky from the Music Society. More on that will be later. And uh, yeah, I believe Anna will take over the next part uh, about the socials of the Student Council. So just to carry on what Art just told you guys, we have a bunch of social media where we try and basically spotlight what the students have been doing and what you've been up to and stuff like that. And as he mentioned, we've got now a Discord server. So we're trying to do a bit more hangouts since we're all stuck indoors and stuff like that and make it a bit more interactive so we can actually get to know each other 
because most of us have not seen each other at all since we started university. So we're trying very hard to make it a more interactive place where all the students can kind of make new friends and hang out outside of just Zoom classes and whatnot. And we've got a Facebook. I'll just share it now. We've got here a Facebook where we just kind of post what's going on and whatever events or new posts or blog posts, which uh, Sky also does, about music playlists, which our student cu students curate. And also then the Instagram, so same kind of thing for our announcements and the new Discord server. And I'll put the links down in the chat as well. All right, I think with that, uh, we can move on to the next item on the list. Uh, namely Sky, because we did mention on the societies and Music Society has been by far the most active out of them all. And Sky herself, the uh, head is present. And I think Sky has something to say about the society she now leads. Yeah, so Sky, Sky, take it away. Hello, I'm Sky and um, I joined the Prague College only a few months ago in September, October, what was it? So. Well, I was going to start here in Prague, um, so I moved to Prague in the summer and I don't know anyone here except for my boyfriend, like there's no friends here. So I thought, well, my classmates are only seven, of which most still are not in the Czech Republic at all. And all I thought was like, I need some contacts, I need some friends, I need some like... I don't know, I'm quite a social person, so, um, well, I took the first opportunity I saw, which was the uh, student council, and, well, I got really excited from what they were telling, like, just people organizing stuff, I thought, okay, well, cool, cool, I'll join that, and so, from joining that, I, w I got an email, and it was about the societies, asking, like, so, who would be up for leading some society, and there was the music society and I love music and I've been playing music already since a long time. So I thought, oh yeah, why not? <laughs> so I kind of uh, joined that too. <laughs> and um, wow, that kind of was really a fun experience. And we actually, I, I got to do um, a few fun stuff with, with a group of like around 10 people who joined the music society. And we actually gave it a name. It's called Unmute now, which kind of comes from this digital uh, period. And um, yeah, it's been a bit, yeah, like when you think of music society, you kind of think that all these musicians would come together, right? Or at least like people who play guitar or sing and you would come together and make music. But since we cannot actually come together, it was kind of a challenge to figure out like how we're going to make this work. And well, I can show you some of the things that we have actually done. And yeah, for that, I'm going to share my screen and you should be able to see a video now. I'll play it from the start. Okay, there you go. So you can see in here a few things of what we've done and well I can show you like this is our let me check uh, Facebook page um, we've been creating digital because yeah we are still like with a few people who really like to like create music so I would like to also like just since we're here anyway it's like to hear a bit of what we've made, for example. Um, one of the members came up with this website called Soundtrap where you can actually compose together. And I thought it could be cool to show like one of the things that we actually, a song we worked on together with a few members. So 
this is one. Anyways, so you have a bit of an idea of all the things we are creating. So this is like one of the things, but um, what I really wanted to take advantage of in this time where it's digital and we cannot just make music together is also to include a lot of people who just love music and they don't have to play an instrument or, or have to sing or even like make the music, but also just to talk about music, to share things and stuff. And well, one of the things we I started doing um, uh, is like, uh, these Spotify playlist creators where students just bring in their songs, give it their playlist a name and write something about it. Uh, uh, yeah, this is one of the things. And <clears throat> yeah, like there's uh, blog posts coming out about them and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to show you about uh, the music society. And um, I would say like, if you love music, then you can join, you don't have to play anything. If you do, it's really fun, like, I hope one day we can kind of actually come together and play and like uh, share thoughts and stuff together. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm thinking, yeah, one of the things I've done also this week, for example, is um, I wrote an article about music for the Agora magazine. And this is my bridge towards the people of Agora magazine. The mag, yeah, nice job. Yeah, uh, so like she said, she uh, is participating in the process of, uh, let's see, uh, producing the second issue of Agora magazine. And this is why we're gonna give you guys a quick uh, introduction of the, of the magazine itself. So first, hi everyone, I'm Melvin. Uh, like I was like introduced earlier, I'm the founder and also the, let's say, creative director of uh, the MAG. So I mostly handle like management uh, duties and also like key graphic design, also like tasks. Hey guys, my name is Tanya and what I do for Agora is I take care of the social media, especially Instagram, which I'm gonna tell you more about a little later. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Mirna and currently I coordinate content for the website which is still uh, under construction and I also work as a content creator writing articles and doing photography. Okay, so first I'd like to say something about what our goal is here at Agora and it to offer you a platform where you can share some of the content you create and any creative work you have. It's not necessarily directed at a certain art form. It's very open and the main goal or aim is just to offer a creative outlet so you don't focus all of your time on your studies and to have something as a as a hobby, gain maybe some exposure, participate, just engage yourself into something more. All right, so Agora is on four main platforms. The first one is, of course, the actual magazine, which is in digital form. And every quarter we have a different theme of the magazine. So it contains a themed content. Um, then the second one is actually a new one. We, ha we have a website where we post creative content as well, both related and unrelated to the actual magazine. Then we have Instagram, where we're focusing on the exposure of the magazine and promoting it, but also giving students the chance to share some other stuff that they do. And then last but not least, we have our own podcast series where the students or the team talk casually about different topics, about graphic design, art, anything. Yeah, so I'm going to focus a little bit more on the magazine because it's kind of like the, um, the key um, platform that we have uh, on Agora. So like Stania said, it's uh, quarterly and it's uh, themed. And um, let's say that the content is more like uh, thoughtful. It's more in-depth than, in than um, the content that we have, for instance, on Instagram 
or that what we'll have on the website. And uh, for this, um, we have like a 12 week process. Uh, so the first, let's say phase of the process is ideation where like the whole team, well, at least like the whole team that, that is participating in the production of the mag, will just like check uh, each other's ideas and then we'll brainstorm together to find like the right content. Then everyone will produce the content and then I will have like the, uh, I will make the design of the mag itself. So as you can see, it's just like a few spreads of the form issue. Uh, for we have like articles, but we also have photography, uh, 3D. Uh, we can also have illustration. Uh, we don't have much um, restriction uh, about like the content itself. For instance, we can have like content that is like uh, crossing over multiple platforms, such as uh, this article, which is uh, also uh, in audio on uh, Spotify. And we have like other example, for instance, um, uh, we have like uh, some motion work, which is like still in the mag, but is in motion on Instagram. Uh, so yeah, just like, uh, it's kind of like um, a playground, you know, it's like a sandbox for you guys and you can do anything. It can be photo, it can be a video actually. It can be uh, like music even, who knows? Uh, just like creative freedom and you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'd like to start by introducing the roles we have at uh, Agora here a bit more. Uh, they're mainly divided into the core team and the content creators. Uh, currently, the core team has five members, two of which are not here and three of which are Stanya, Melvin and me. Uh, they mostly work on coordinating the production and they're a bit more intimately involved with the project and the content creators. It's a uh, bigger, you know, network of people and they're more, more um, let's say, loosely involved and they just focus on creating the content. Uh, so what I like to say how the roles are defined is as a core team member, uh, you can participate in the project by helping it grow and evolve because this is something that started by the end of last year, somewhere around there. Uh, so it's a relatively up and coming project, which means that you can uh, offer a lot and you can contribute a lot uh, as a core team member, but also as content creators, even though it's a bit more, you know, relaxed and doesn't have as many responsibilities, you can still help by creating content for the magazine where we can uh, display it, show off your work, maybe help you gain a bit more of a reputation and so on. Uh, the core team is currently in need of two positions. Uh, somebody to handle the financial, like a financial aid or something similar, and somebody to take care of marketing because um, to help us gain a bit more exposure. Uh, but the content creators, that's entirely for you to decide. So basically anything you think um, may be helpful or even anything you want to offer, you can just share any type of artwork you create, whether, whether it's video, illustrations, 3D, uh, photography, whatever, as long as you want to express yourself and you have something to show. All right, so on Instagram, we focus mainly on two things. And the first one is on the actual content of the magazine. Um, we let students um, talk about what they did for the magazine and share the content to actually get people to check the actual magazine. Uh, which you can see on this slide and on the next slide we got different series of posts dedicated to dif different occasions of the year or celebrating the places that the students are from because we have a very international environment or we also let students share some other of their work paintings drawings illustration could, could be really anything um, we're cu currently also launching new types of content, so we'll be very happy to have new contributors. Um, and if you're interested, you can definitely email us at this email that you can see. And we'll also be very happy if you go and see what we do on our Instagram and also on our website. Yeah, so as a kind of like an end note, I'd say that, uh, yeah, just like see the mag, see Agora as a playground so that you can experiment, you know, like share your work, but also like collaborate and build 
or at least start building a network with some other students and maybe some professionals because you have like a teacher that is participating in the project and let's say in the future we might have some other teachers or like some professionals so yeah i think it's a nice opportunity for you guys just to to have fun and uh yeah like feel free to ask uh, anything in the qa station or at least uh, to like send us an, uh, an email or like dm us on ig and i uh, thank you guys Okay, uh, just to add on on to what Melvin just said with the that you guys can email them as well to ask any questions or to join you guys can do the exact same thing with the student council if you're interested in working with the student council feel free to message us on one of these platforms. Or even if you just have any questions about how things might be, we can try and help you as well, or if you want a more direct student approach to these things, so you guys can let us know as well. I don't know if Isenia wants to say something about the art society. Great. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi, hello. My name is Sonia, and I am the head, head I don't know, of the art society. And um, I also, as for Agora, I also participating as a collaborator and content creator. So I created several paintings for Agora magazine, which you can check out on the website and everywhere in the Instagram. So yeah, uh, in our society, um, if you want to draw just as a hobby, if you're not an artist, you can come and just have fun because the, uh, the society does not require people who are like studying at fine arts programs. So even if you're, I don't know, studying for an IET something, you can come and have fun and just do the silly things. So yeah, that's kind of the whole thing about our society that we just do some fun stuff. And if you want to talk about art or just sketches that you made, you can come and do that. That's kind of the thing about our society. I don't have a lot to say. So I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's great. I will just uh, want to to share everyone where you can find other uh, social media links. Like if you go to the Bracalypse website, I'm for sure like you figure out for yourself and maybe Rai or someone has told you. But here like are all the links. And we are to as TikTok. We just started, it, but you found us as in Instagram with Brack College, and everyone is putting down in the chat their links. So just make sure you follow us because we are very active on social media and we are actually um, posting almost every day of different events or things that are happening around any society or any school of, of Prague College. And I think everyone already talked and gave a lot of info and insights. And as you can see, like. We're just a group of students that you can just reach out at any time. Uh, you might have some comments or questions now, so please feel free to just turn on your mic and ask away or, or comment away. Yeah, I think we'll need to give permissions for people to talk, oh, okay. which is a... Uh, um, yeah. And Technically, I'm co-host, but I'm not, I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, I'll I'll step in and start uh, kind of Thanks. giving giving those permissions and whatnot. I just want to say thank you, you know, from Student Services and everyone uh, for sharing your insight because I think you guys do a really great job um, in your respective um, projects and things that you get involved with. And uh, yeah, it's super cool to have the student perspective, you know, shared in such a you know, cool way. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. Um, we're probably going to go ahead and stop the live stream at the moment. Um, anyone that wants to get in touch uh, with either our student council, Agora magazine, or um, any of our societies, um, of course, you can reach out to student.council at progcollege.cz, or you can just um, check us out on all of the various social media um, platforms that we're active on.
There are so, many um, in the uh, chat. So yeah, probably, yeah, like yeah. A list yeah. at this point. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll also put these together a little bit later um, in one concise place so everyone can take a look at them. So uh, yeah, on that note, I just wanted to, to again say thank you to all of our panelists uh, for sharing their insights. And then um, yeah, we're just gonna change gears a little bit and we're gonna open it up to questions from our uh, current students and kind of get them in the room and get them involved. So anyone who has joined us live, uh, thank you for your attention. We hope we gave you some you know interesting insight and we look forward to hearing from you and also sharing some great projects throughout the year. So thank you very much.